guys, so today's video was a request from you, but I wanted to kind of tell you how to run faster. Um, and this was basically a request from you guys, and I think it is especially an issue like going back to school. Um, I know that a lot of people who go back to school have PE or physical education class, um, and you do want to be able to run a fast mile, not only to be healthy, but you know, whether it's to impress, you know, your peers, whether it's to be first in class, whether it's to just feel good about yourself or not be at the end. Um, I wanted to teach you a couple ways that you can run faster. Now, if you're not good at running or if you don't run at all, I would recommend starting maybe with walking and trying to jog it out a little bit. Um, these tips are probably would help you too, but it's probably for those of you guys who you know, you are a little bit okay with running, you just want to do it faster, you want to get done, and you want to feel good about what you're doing, and maybe not be last, um, because I used to be last on purpose, but kids would tease me, and then I was first, and they would tease me for being first, because I was Cassie Longlegs, freak of nature. All those sort of things, but I wanted to give you some tips for running faster. So if you are trying to, um, these might help you do that. The first thing to do is actually strengthen your core and obliques. If you guys ever look at Olympic runners, runners. Have you guys ever looked at Olympic runners? If you guys look at the sprinters in the Olympics who run, if you'll notice, they have some intense ab muscles. And the reason why is because those abs help you propel your legs. And the stronger your abdomen is, the faster your legs can go. So the first tip is to strengthen up your core, especially your abs and your obliques. Your core right here, this is your powerhouse. This is what drills your body forward when you're running or doing other things as well. So you could do crunches, but those are kind of boring. Do bicycles, especially if you do, you guys know what plank is? If you do the plank, that really helps out your abs, and then you can do the plank and lift one leg, and that really gets this right here. If you do like sideways crunches, it really gets this area right here. Um, but strengthening that core, strengthening your back even, going like on your belly and doing the snake lift where you bend up like this, or the trunk lift or whatever, I will link you to an increased flexibility and yoga routine, but strengthening that core will really help you power forward. Um, so start working out that kind of area and then you know another benefit other than running faster is that you have really good looking abdomen. Um, so that's the first tip. Second is actually what you're doing that's not exercise and it's eating and staying hydrated. It is very difficult to run fast if you are dehydrated. You need to have enough water on you. It's also difficult to run if you gotta go pee. So my recommendation is use the restroom before you're gonna run or something but make sure that you're drinking enough water and staying hydrated especially when you're exercising your sweating and your body's losing moisture so you need to replenish that. Also make sure you're eating healthy. Um, some people have the idea of carbo loading before running. Um, it's the idea that they want to eat a ton of carbs so that their body can be ready to run. Um, that's kind of true but kind of not. Your body definitely needs carbohydrates and glucose to run but it needs to be eaten before you run, but not right before, because then you're going to be sick. And you don't want to eat bad carbs, eat whole wheats. And some people do it the night before the run. T trust me, by the time you sleep, that'll all kind of be either stored in your liver or stored as fat. You want to eat probably two to three hours before a run. You want to make sure that it's a good, healthy, hearty whole grain or some really good vegetables. Um, carbs are, are a good idea in this case because they can you know, give you an immediate source of energy. But eat before, drink a lot of water, and stay hydrated. So that way you're not cramping when you're running. And you do have enough fuel to push you forward to the end. Another tip is to try some hills. Go hiking. Reason why is because when we're hiking up hills, we're using different muscles. When we're running, we're using a a lot of our abs, a lot of our hamstrings, um, a little bit of our calves. Now when we hike, we are using a ton of our calves, a ton of our um, thigh muscles, and our buttocks. We have the gluteus minimus, the gluteus medius, and the gluteus maximus. Those are the three layers of muscle on your butt. So your butt is like one huge muscle. Now running helps the butt a little bit, but hiking blasts that butt into action. So if you go hiking, you are really going to tone up that butt. Uh, let's say that you can hike up that hill really well. Well, guess what? When you get back on a normal track, you will be able to run faster because these muscles are now used to hiking, which is harder than running. So when you work out those muscles differently, they'll get accustomed to that. Um, so that way when you run, it'll be easier because your muscles are like, hey, running, no problem. We go hiking. You know what I mean? Your butt's going to be like, I'm ready for this, guys. Um, and that'll really help you run faster because your muscles are conditioned to do so. Another thing you might want to try is doing little bursts of sprinting. Let's say that you're on a run and you do want to be going faster. You're running at your normal pace. Pick a spot. Say that tree is that much away. Um, I'm going to go from this, this tree right here to that tree right there and I'm going to sprint that. 
So while you're jogging, you hit the first tree, you sprint it out. You go as fast as you freaking can. You pump your legs until you get to that second tree. Once you get to that second tree, you slow down again. You're gonna be tired, but go back to your regular jogging pace. Go back to regular. You might be a little bit winded, but just keep up this jog for five minutes until you get your breath back. And once you've completely gotten your breath back, you're all good again, you're running at a regular pace, pick it again. Okay, now I'm gonna run from this bush to that house. And you go, 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 and you get there. And then again, you're tired, you just jog it out at your normal pace. And what that's going to do, instead of just jogging at your normal pace this entire way, you're jogging a little bit, sprinting really fast. Jogging a little bit, sprinting really fast. Jogging a little bit, sprinting really fast. And that helps your muscles condition to run faster. So try switching up your jogs a little bit. Obviously, if you're not good at jogging or running at all, you're gonna need to start maybe walking and then jogging a little bit, walking and then jogging a little bit. Um, but if you are a runner and looking to run faster, sprint it out. The very last tip that I have is stretching. You guys know that stretching before and after a run is very essential to preventing injury because you stretch it out, you you know get those muscles ready, but it's also essential to running faster. Reason why, think of it as like squeaky door hinges. What happens if the door hinge doesn't have enough lubrication, it gets squeaky and sticky and it doesn't work right. Same with our muscles. If they're not warmed up, if we haven't stretched, they're squeaky, they're sticky, they don't want to go as fast. You know, they're kind of tough and just stiff. Now, if we're stretching these out, guess what happens when we run? If we run after we've stretched, it's almost like putting oil on that door, lubrication. Our muscles are ready. We can run faster because our body is moving more fluid, it's working better. Um, so that's a huge tip is not only to stretch to prevent injury, but also to make everything work better and more fluid. Like think of it as oiling up a door that's really creaky and hingy so that way it works better. But I love you guys. I hope that you can all run really, really fast now and I cannot wait to hear about how it goes. So if you do run, tell me about it. Tell me if this works, if it doesn't, if you have other tips or tricks to running faster. Um, or if you don't run and want a video on how to get active, let me know what you guys want because I want to bring you things that you'll enjoy. Uh, but I really hope that this video helped you and I can't wait to talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.